She's spending the night at America's scariest motel. If the clowns weren't scary enough, there's a cemetery next door. Let's see if I make it through the night. My night at the clown motel is one I'll never forget. I checked into the motel and then I went to my room to see what was inside. Upon arrival, I found Bob and I don't know who this is. The lamp kept flickering all night. I definitely felt like someone was there. In 1985, Leona and Leroy David had the Clown Motel built to honor their late father, Clarence David. They brought with them his 150 clowns. He was buried in the Old Tonopah Cemetery next door. Next door to the Clown Motel is the Old Tonopah Cemetery. The cemetery is home to over 300 graves, including the grave of the original owner's father. The fact that it's next door to the Clown Motel just adds to the spooky atmosphere. Maybe that's why my motel room felt Probably. haunted. My mom said the same thing when I was born, so I'm not surprised you're saying that now. I don't have any regrets about going and staying there. The experience was very interesting. The town was very interesting. I would probably go back. There's actually another haunted hotel that I want to stay in, but I'll bring my sage this Doesn't time. this house look sus? If a house could speak, what stories would it tell? Is this where Pennywise lives? All I know is that the smell was unbearable, and my heart raced as if I felt like someone was watching me while I was here. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere, I stumbled upon this abandoned motel. A piece of paradise. A permanent vacation awaits you. Once you check in, you don't check out. I hope you have your bags packed.